Okay. Uh, the goal of this video is to talk about uh, this error, parameter index out of range. And what this means is <clears throat> um, it's to do with the uh, database access. And in this file that we're looking at here, um, <clears throat> the Get this a little. The person had written a SQL statement <clears throat> that says select all columns from the employees table where contact ID equals, and they have a question mark. And <clears throat> when you're using a prepared statement, you can use these question marks to um, uh, represent variables or parameters. And what happens is the prepared statement code will actually sanitize these for SQL injection to make sure that we don't have any uh, SQL injection attacks. <clears throat> so we have one question mark here. And then what you do is you bind the, um, you bind this uh, item with the appropriate variables. Um, now in this case, it should have been uh, an integer instead of a string. And uh, the person's got, instead of uh, one item here, there's four. So what happens is it says the parameter index is out of the range, meaning it's expecting one, but it has four, right? So it says here, um, <clears throat> it's greater than the number of parameters, which is one. So what we're gonna do to clean it up is, first, we'll change the data type to be int. And we can say, And this, I believe, comes from contact ID text field. And then we have to convert that into a number. So we're going to say integer int. And we can get rid of the other ones. Get the text. OK, so now what it'll do is it'll look in this text field whatever number is there, it will, it'll grab it and convert it into an integer. And then it's gonna bind that as an integer into here. So let's see if this will run now. So we didn't get the error this time. And if I type in a one, I didn't update the, the scene because the uh, person had a few other things, but it didn't generate uh, the error. Um, person had some other things missing, but um, it didn't generate the error down here. So if you see that that error, um, where, let's do this. Right, so if we're trying to bind two integer or two parameters, we're gonna get this parameter index out of range. So just make sure the amount of question marks you have matches the amount of binding statements that you have. Thanks very much.